Has someone recently told you about a fun game with a pretty strange name? Or perhaps you're tired of explaining it to your friends when they say, Pickle what? If you want to know more about this great game, stay tuned. Hey everybody, my name is CJ Johnson. This channel is dedicated to all things pickleball with a special focus on players who are over 50. If you're interested in pickleball, make sure you hit the subscribe button and then the bell notification. That way you'll know when I post a new video every Saturday. I play and coach multiple sports and without a doubt, pickleball is unique. It's easy to learn but tough to master. It's athletic and strategic. And for most people, the best part is it's very social. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video. I'll give you a cheat sheet that will help you to find the resources to learn or to play pickleball on courts near you. Pickleball is played on a court with the same dimensions as a badminton court, 44 feet long and 20 feet across. There's a section called the non-volley zone that extends from the net seven feet on each side. You may hear it lovingly referred to as the kitchen. The right side of the court is the even side, and the left side is the odd side. The net measures 34 inches in the middle and 36 inches on each end. There's no court difference for doubles or singles. Doubles is the most popular form of pickleball play. Asphalt surfaces are most common for outdoor play. You'll also find pickleball played in the gym. Now let's take a look at the equipment. Paddles may remind you a bit of ping pong paddles. Today, they're typically made from composite materials and can be no longer than 17 inches with the combined length and width no greater than 24 inches. The ball is similar in consistency to a wiffle ball. It's light, so it definitely is impacted by the wind. When it's dropped from a height of 78 inches on a granite surface, the ball can bounce no more than 34 inches, which, if you remember, is the height of the net at the center. Yes, there is a difference between indoor and outdoor balls. Outdoor balls are heavier and harder with smoother plastic. The easiest way to recognize them is they have smaller holes. Outdoor balls are rarely used indoors because they skid and don't bounce as high. Balls come in a variety of different colors, which is especially important for indoor play. Let's play pickleball. A team can only score points while they're serving. To begin the game, or after a side out, which is when the serve changes side, play always begins on the even side of the court. The serve must be made with an underhand motion and the paddle below the wrist without a bounce. The serve is done on the diagonal and players only get one opportunity to get the serve in. Each player on the team gets a chance to serve with the exception of the very first service of the game. Don't worry about it. Everyone gets confused about that one. If you win a point, that person keeps serving. You just simply switch sides. There's something called the two bounce rule. Since the serve is in the air, the returning team must allow it to bounce one time and the serving team must allow it to bounce one time. Volley means to take the ball out of the air. You are not allowed to touch or stand in the non-volley zone and volley the ball. Games are typically played to 11, win by two. At the end of the game, it's customary for all the players to come to the net and tap their paddles. Now, why is it so addictive? Anyone at any age can play. I love this video from the national championships where you have two 80 year olds who are playing single. Anyone with a little hand eye coordination can pick up a paddle and be playing a game the exact same day. I know a lot of pickleball players who've lost weight and gotten into better shape just because they started playing the game. It's not an expensive sport to learn how to play. Uh, court fees are free to very nominal. Paddles cost less than $100. The United States Pickleball Association runs a program called Pickleball Ambassadors, and in many instances, those people will teach you how to play, introduce you to other pickleball players, give you some equipment, and best of all, it's usually free. If you're excited to learn how to play pickleball, click over here. There's a free cheat sheet 
where I've organized all the resources you need to know about in order to learn how to play. If you're already a pickleball player, let's do some recruiting. Share this with a non-pickleball playing friend so that we can get more people in the sport. And then together, we can train smart, live bold, and age bold.